Hello my fellow Kenyans, habari zenu wa Kenya wenzangu. I am Gakonga the coach and the pioneer of vision to football Kenya. Karibuni wa Kenya wenzangu. Nataka tuzidi kushare yale mambo yanafanyika na nataka tuzidi kushare mambo ya mpira ndio tuokoe mpira wetu ya our Kenyan football revolution is coming soon. But wa Kenya wenzangu leo nataka kushare na nyinyi mambo kidogo kuhusu Kylian Mbappe. Let me tell you a little bit about Kylian Mbappe before we dive into other serious issues. Wa Kenya wenzangu, Kylian Mbappe Huyu kijana machachali mfaranza. Yeah, this guy is good. I saw him few years back. Eh? Walipokuwa anacheza against Man City. And I said, this guy is gonna make it big. Na huu kijana, yuko talented. Alitoka Bode Academy huko France. Akaenda Monaco. Alafu sasa kama unavyojua, yuko PSG. Hamenunuliwa na, PS, na PSG. Lakini wa Kenya wenzangu, nataka tuangalie kuhusu pesa. Kiri ya Mbappe. He's the second most expensive player in the world today. Number one expensive player in the world is Neymar. We all know that. Wakanya wezangu. Lakini, Mbappe alinunuliwa 18 billion Kenya shilling. Yeah? 18 billion Kenya shilling. Dio PSG waliripa. Yeah? Monaco. Dio Mbappe aja PSG. Lakini sasa wakanya wezangu. Nimejaribu kuangalia. Kama krabu ya Kenya. At least pengine Thika United. Ama Gurumahi, ama AFC Leopard. Pesa nga, how long inaweza kuwachukua ili wasevu pesa wa mnunue kiri ya nimbapa. Wa Kenya wezangu, mambo huko Kenya ni hatari. Mambo ni serious. Umasikini ni serious. Kwa hivyo nisikize. It is going to take a Kenyan club 4,400 years to save enough money to buy kiri ya nimbapa. And that is a Kenyan club saving 4 million Kenya shilling per year because that is what currently sport pesa is giving Kenyan clubs. Each club is receiving 4 million Kenya shilling per year. The only sponsor they have at the moment is sport pesa. So if they were going to save 4 million Kenya shilling, a club is going to save 4 million Kenya shilling without ever spending a penny for 4 1400 years wa Kenya wenzangu that is the only time is going to be enough money to buy Kylian Mbappe wa Kenya wenzangu 4400 years to come yani hata Yesu anaweza kuwa amerudi dunia hii mara mbili miaka 2000 aje arudi tena aje tena na karibu kurudi tena mara ya tatu that is how long it is going to save a, to, it is going to take a Kenyan club to stake to save for buying Kylian Mbappe this is dangerous Hii ni hatari, ni hatari kwa usarama, ni hatari kwa uchumi wetu wa Kenya, wa Kenya wenzangu. Now, Kenya Premier League yote ikiamua kusevu pesa. Hizo pesa zote wanapewa na sport pesa. Watasevu for 210 years kuweza kwa Ford, Kiri and Mbappe wa Kenya wenzangu. FKF at the moment inapewa 23 million per year na sport pesa. Kwa hivyo FKF ikiamua kusevu, ya, yeah, itasevu. For 1,100 years, ndiyo waweze kununua kiri ya ni mbape. Hii ni FKF, Kenya Football, um, Kenya Football Governing Body. Ni hatari gani hii? Even a, even a body like F, FKF cannot save enough. Yeah? It can only save for 1,100 years enough to buy kiri ya ni mbape. Hii ni hatari. Mpira wetu wa Kenya uko katika hatari. Mpira wetu wa Kenya utaisha. Nimewambia wa Kenya wenzangu, nimeshea na nyinyi, nimepredict mpira wa Kenya. Professional football will not exist in Kenya in five years to come wa Kenya wenzangu. Saa hii mmesikia gormahia, wachezaji hawalipwi. Mmesikia AFC Leopard, wachezaji wa megoma. And don't forget gormahia is being sponsored per year. Ya? Yeah? 60 million Kenya shilling by uh, sport pesa. AFC Leopard is being sponsored uh, 50 million per year uh, by sport pesa. And yet the two clubs cannot afford to pay players right now. How about the other clubs eh, that are not being sponsored? Because I know sport pesa is only sponsoring Kariubangi Shark, AFC Leopard and Agoruma here. Here a kit sponsorship. The rest of the club, they are only receiving form. 4 million per year, yeah, from uh, from uh, the title sponsorship deal. The kit deal is only AFC Leopard, uh, Gormahia, and Kariubangi Shark. So these are the clubs, yeah, 18 minus 3, that is 15 clubs, are only receiving five, 4 million Kenya shilling per year. Mungu wa I don't know how they are surviving. If you divide that by 12 months, 
you are going to see they are only receiving laki tatu kwa mwezi. Laki tatu wa Kenya wenzangu is not even enough to buy a tuk-tuk. So a Kenyan Premier League club cannot buy one tuk-tuk. Yeah, a month. It can only, iso, three laki tatu is only enough to buy uh, two dairy cows kwa mwezi. That is only, what can a Kenyan club, Premier League club do with, do with 300,000 wa Kenya wenzangu? Masikitiko niriyoko nayo ni makali. And I have to keep talking because we have to address these issues. I would rather for five years we don't have a Kenyan Premier League. Yeah, so yote yende uko chini iwe relegated. Yan tuseme hatutaki Kenya Premier League, we will use that name when we are well equipped. So that next time when we say Kenya, a Kenyan Premier League club, it will have a home ground, a custodium, kazuli, clubhouse, everything will be fine. But now it is just a name that means nothing, Kenya Premier League. That's why you see no sponsor is coming through to sponsor broadcasting deal for Kenya Premier League. Hawana sponsor yoyote for nearly, nearly since uh, Supersport left. They cannot find a sponsor wa Kenya wenzangu. This is terrible for our football. Yeah? Wa Kenya wenzangu, tell me. A little boy in Capedo, a little boy in Garissa, uko, they are supposed to benefit from our football that Kenya Premier League gets. So now they get nothing. So our football will continue to return. Even before, they were not channeling money to the grassroots. But at least some players who are, who are playing within Kenya Premier League were getting at least something, some money to buy food and support their family. The type of football we have in Kenya is not football. I have said it, it is called kicking about. And we must change our football so that we have football that was its name wa kenya wenzangu support me for a football evolution for a proper football evolution that's going to sort football governing body that will exit that will go we will have a new football governing body the premier league will be reformed will be restructured will be reconstituted it will be better it will have proper management system so that it can grow so that it can it can get big sponsorship deals because madiri yako kenya is Kenya has a lot of money, but the Kenya Premier League has to prove to sponsors that it is worth to be sponsored. That is where the problem is. You know, just re last week, yeah, I saw an I saw I saw an article, a newspaper article here in England. Kua, uh, Sport Pesa has been given an award, business award in England for sponsoring English clubs. Yeah, as you know, Ever Everton, Hull City. Uh, um, Southampton, yeah, Sport Pesa is sponsoring them. Yet clubs in Kenya cannot find the sponsors. This tells you the mental, the business mentality of our football clubs is wrong. They need to be managed properly, and this is not going to happen unless unless we sort the structure, management structure, business structure that they use. Yeah, if you think about it, Golmahia, 60 years later, since Tom Boyer formed it. It is still cannot operate as a business. This is why I'm saying the weakness of FKF as a football governing body is, for, is what is causing all these issues because it has not come with proper regulation. It has not inspired Kenyan clubs. FKF, to be honest, is a one-way ticket to hell. Football in Kenya will continue to go bad and bad. So FIFA promoted us five positions. Yeah, what is that? From uh, so that from 111. Yeah, to now I think 100 and, uh, 100 and, 100 and, um, six we are ranking. That is nonsense for Kenya. Kenya need to be somewhere better wa Kenya wezangu. And I can tell you now, FKF, as you know, they cancelled the rights for Kenya to hold the Sekafa. They said, saying about money. Now, they cancelled the right for Kenya to hold Women Africa Cup of Nation again wa Kenya wezangu. This is what is happening within FKF. FKF, whether we chase it out of office, we know it will die. And the people, the officials of FKA promised so much to Kenyans before they were elected in office. What have they got to promise now when the election come 2020 that they want to be in charge of our football for the next four years? This is why I'm saying 2020 is too far. Wakenya wenzangu ni mechoka and you are all tired. We are not going to wait for 2020. They are going away. Before that, Wakenya Wenzangu, support me, subscribe, let us share information, let us sort our football. Our football is a multi-billion economy, but it has been destroyed by our football governing body. Where the reform must start is a new football governing body to reform our football. We cannot reform FKF. We need a new football governing body, but we can reform our football. We can reform uh, uh, Kenya Premier League structure. There is so much to reform in our football, but it must start by a new football governing body. Wa Kenya wezangu, 
remember to subscribe i'll leave you in peace i'm gone i'm gakonga the coach the pioneer of vision total football kenya na waacha kwa imani ninaishia i leave you in peace i'm gone